No, we don't have time to go. We got to get over this stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, now, <clears throat> excuse me, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to talk about a triangle that now is including an angle. Now we have an angle that's included, and we have a missing side length. Now, previously, the way that we learned how to find the missing side of a right triangle is there's two methods. The first method was Pythagorean theorem. Have the two legs, have the hypotenuse, we can apply that, right? This is a right triangle. We have the two legs. Well, actually, we don't have one leg. That leg's x. And we don't know what the hypotenuse is. So is it possible to have the Pythagorean theorem when we have two missing side lengths of a triangle? No, we can't do that. The next one is to use the special right triangles. If we knew what the special right triangles were, or I'm sorry, if we had a special right triangle, a 45-45-90 triangle or a 30-60-90 triangle, we could easily find the other sides of a triangle just by like multiplying by 2, multiplying by square root of 3, and all that other jazz, right? But the problem is, is this a special right triangle? Is this a 30-60-90 or a 45-45-90 triangle? No. So now we're stuck in a point where we don't have any of our previous tools to solve the missing sides of the triangle. All right? However, here comes into our, our three trigonometric functions. Sine, cosine, and tangent. All right? So what we need to do, though, is we need to decide which function can we apply to this triangle to help us solve for our missing length x. All right? Now, previously I gave you guys names of angles, right? And I say, hey, this is what we're going to apply to this angle. Well, we only have one angle's length, so this is the angle that we're going to refer to, right? Instead of it having a name A or B, here is our angle we're going to refer to. So, based on this angle, which number is this? This is not a number. Based on this angle, Brandon, what side lengths of the triangle do I have? The adjacent, the opposite, or the hypotenuse? Based on this problem, what, what piece of information are we prov provided? We are provided the adjacent side, right? And then what are we trying to solve for? Opposite. The opposite. Hypotenuse is always right across there, right? We don't even, the hypotenuse is not even a part of the problem. We're only concerned about the opposite and the adjacent. So then I beg the question, why are you not writing this down? So then it begs the question, Dustin, what trigonometric function only, other side, only deals with the opposite and the adjacent? Tangent function. So we're not going to do sine. We're not going to do cosine. We're just going to do tangent because tangent represents tangent of any angle is equal to the ratio of opposite over adjacent. So in this problem, it's nice because you, do you don't have to do one function. But we're actually going to solve. So the way we write this is it's not any angle, though. This is the tangent of the angle 25 degrees. And that's equal to, what is the opposite side? x. What is my adjacent side? 7. OK? Now, just like any other math problem, tangent of 75 degrees, guys, is going to give us a number or tangent of 25 degrees is going to give us a number. So we need to solve for x. So to solve for x, we need to get the x off the bottom. So to do that, I'll multiply by 7 on both sides. And therefore, what I have now is an equation. x equals 7 times the tangent of 25 degrees. Now, we can figure out the answer for this, ladies and gentlemen. That's not going to be how we're going to leave it. We are going to need at least a scientific calculator to do this. And we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'll simply do in my calculator is I'll type tangent, or 7 times, the tangent of 25 degrees. I'm going to round to the 100th degree. And therefore, x is going to equal 3.26. So the length of x is equal to 3.26. OK? That's it. Just type it in as, as I have it written. You might have to hit tangent first. You might have to do tangent 25 degrees first.